Now to derive the second equation, we have to use this definition, okay? The definition of instantaneous velocity. We have v equals to dx, the change in the particle position with respect to time. Or we can simply write as v. And in this same fashion, we have to integrate this to find the sum of the uh, position of the particle in this manner like dx from x naught to x equals to v dt from 0 to t in this we have to observe that only the acceleration is constant not the velocity so we can use this expression here in v so we have dx from x naught to x u plus a t 0 to t on dt so upon solving this we will get integral of dx from x naught to x equal to u dt integral of 0 to t plus a t dt from 0 to t here also we assume that the acceleration is constant okay now solving this equation we will get x x naught x equals to u t 0 to t plus here we will get a t square by 2 0 to t which translates to x minus x naught equals to u t plus a t square by 2 which is x by x naught equals to u t plus half of a t square now equation number three we can derive the equation from this and this okay so what we have is we will try to eliminate this t term time from this equation okay by using this equation so we have from equation one here equation one we have v equals to u plus a t and making this t the subject of formula we will get v minus u by a equals to t and by substituting this t in this equation now we will get x minus x naught equals to u v minus u by a plus half of a this one is t squared so we can get v minus u the whole square by a square now we will get x minus x naught equals to v minus u by a plus half of a a will get cancelled so we will get v minus u whole square by a so we can make this 2a and here also 2a so by dividing and multiplying this and now we will get by shifting this here so 2a x minus x naught equals to what is left now this one and this one is left right so we will get 2 uv minus 2 u square plus v minus u the whole square so we can expand this to simplify the term so we get 2 x minus x naught equals to 2 u v minus 2 u square plus this one we can expand this like v square plus u square minus 2 v u we obtain 2 a x minus x naught equals to 3 2 v u 2 v u will get cancelled 
and here negative 2 u square and here 1 plus u square so negative u square is left so v square minus u square so this is the third kinematic equation okay very important now we can also more now we can also further modify these equations to have different terms in the equation so in terms of velocity the v average is for example the particle a has in initial velocity of u and the particle moves with time t and at final time t at position b the particle has the velocity of v so in terms of velocity we know that the average velocity is the arithmetic mean of the initial and final velocity, which is u plus v by 2 okay so this one we can use here half u plus v and we also know that in terms of position that is change in position we know that v average is change in the position of the particle with respect to change in the time so we can rearrange this equation to get delta x equal to v a v g times delta t so change in time so from here by substituting this equation we know that delta t from 0 to x equals to v average times delta t 0 to t and by using this substituting here we will get x x naught by x equals v average half of u plus v then here t 0 t and finally we will get x minus x naught equals to half of v plus u times t so this is another equation